G'day and welcome to day 271 of this beard growth and it's late at night catching uh, the train home. So I'm on the train right now and I thought I'd do my teaching Tuesday. And I got a question asked me over the weekend, um, because my daughter's birthday and we had some helium balloons, which um, we really shouldn't be doing just helium balloons for party because we're running out of helium, the second most abundant uh, element in the universe, but apparently here on Earth we're losing it. But anyway, the question was, was why do helium balloons go flat? Why do they run out? Why do they kind of slightly deflate? And I'm going to have to write everything down for you on this one to explain that. But it's simply, if we see here, we've got our picture of the uh, helium balloon as the lights go out on the train. But here we go. There's our balloon filled up with helium. Now, the thing about helium is it's a monatomic particle element. So what means is in the gas phase, it exacts as one atom in the helium. Whereas air, which is mainly made up of uh, nitrogen and oxygen, uh, they exist as two atoms, so they're diatomic. So if you have oxygen gas, it's two oxygens together. If you have nitrogen gas, it's two nitrogens together. And if you have helium, it's one. And you can see that helium also is a lot smaller than just one oxygen or one nitrogen. With oxygen and nitrogen, pretty much similar. Oxygen slightly bigger. But anyway, so you've got all this helium in the balloon, and now what happens is it's moving around really fast. Now the helium being lighter than the oxygen actually moves faster than the oxygen or the nitrogen hitting the balloon. Okay, because the oxygen and nitrogen are heavier, they're going to move slower and hit the balloon less frequently than the oxygen hitting the balloon from the inside as they move around really quick. Now, if we take a snapshot of a part of the balloon and expand it out, the balloon isn't actually fully solid with no gas. It's going to be made up of the rubber lattice. So you're going to have a lattice, you know, almost like a whole bunch of fences, you know, stuck together. So, you know, most of the time a helium is going to come in and hit a bit of the edge and then bounce around and come out or bounce and come out. But eventually some of the helium actually is going to go through the small dots in the hole and actually escape through to the outside. Now, this is known as osmosis, all right? So osmosis says the higher concentrated uh, area is gonna, you know, diffuse to a lower concentrated area. So there's a higher concentration of helium here. It's gonna diffuse through the membrane, which is the balloon, to a lower concentrated area. The same is also gonna happen here. We're gonna have oxygen and nitrogen go into the balloon. So this is why the balloon stops floating. You have a whole bunch of oxygen and nitrogen come in, right? And you have a whole bunch of helium go out. So as the helium goes out, being lighter, it makes this balloon the same kind of, I guess, weight or mass as the normal air around, so that's why it doesn't float. Now why it slowly deflates is because you're going to get more helium going out than you're going to have oxygen and nitrogen going in. Okay, because A, we've got these small gaps, so we have helium being able to fit through more of the small gaps than nitrogen or oxygen. Because nitrogen and oxygen might only be able to fit through half the gaps, whereas helium can fit through, you know, all the gaps. Right, just for an example. Also, you've got more helium hitting it. All right, so helium is going to hit it more often because it's moving faster, so you're going to have more helium going out, less nitrogen and oxygen going in to replace it. So what you end up with is a balloon, because this is the balloon that's floating up, then you're going to end up with a balloon that's on the ground that is, uh, I guess, still got air in it, but a little less deflated and uh, not floating anymore. So there you have it. There is why a helium balloon uh, goes flat and deflates and doesn't float anymore. So uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.